Twitch is a giant mess that is falling and could collapse soon. Losing market share to new platforms, laying off over 400 people, losing viewership, banning their biggest creators, having a horrible revenue split, implementing features that will make creators make less money and leave the platform. This makes Twitch lose millions of dollars, but most of these reasons are due to the lack of money. Twitch makes money in a few ways. First is advertisement. Next is subscribers who pay $5 per month to see no ads. And lastly, bit. Twitch currency that you can donate to streamers. Twitch is a horrible platform for advertisements. Viewers get three minutes of unskippable ads per one hour. That can ruin viewer satisfaction because you can miss an important moment on the stream and you can't rewind it. Twitch has no way of tracking users' interest like other platforms have. They can only track who's your favorite streamer and nothing else. So why would any company spend millions on Twitch if they don't know who are they selling to? The subscriber problem. Amazon owns Twitch, Prime members are a huge portion of Twitch total subscribers and Twitch gets zero dollars from them. Problem with bits, there are a few ways to get them free and they don't have a purpose except cheering and using cheer mode. But after all, with all these streams of income, does Twitch even make some decent money? We don't know, that information isn't public. There are some assumptions from various sites that Twitch makes over $2 billion in revenue, but that doesn't make sense. Because of the problems we mentioned, and second, because of Twitch's creators. Twitch is nothing without his creators, and a lot of creators leave the platform. The revenue split is 70-30. That means one subscription of $5 is divided 70% to the creator, 30% to Twitch. But after a creator passes $100,000, the revenue is 50-50. This is a split other platforms have for their creators. Ports say that 50% of Twitch's entire revenue is coming from the big guys, which is a bad way of business. That split is because the Twitch CEO says that they have huge costs. As he says, delivering high definition, low latency, all this available live video to the whole planet is expensive. Using published rates from Amazon's web service, interactive video service, IVS, which is Twitch video, live video for a streamer who streams 200 hours a month is more than $1,000 per month. I don't believe that. Both companies are owned by Amazon. There is no way Amazon has the same price for their service for their company and for everyone else. Twitch pays a lot of less. Streamers are obliged to stream because of their contracts with Twitch. And Twitch doesn't tolerate the burnouts. You need to meet the minimum requirement per month or else you get in a big trouble. This is proof that they treat their streamers like <laughs> Another great example of this is Kai Senna. Kai is one of Twitch's biggest streamers. Recently, he ran a subathon. That is 24-7, 28 days non-stop streaming. He wanted to take the record of most subscribed games. He crushed it. Some news said that he earned Twitch $10 million, and Kai only received $2 million. But that was false. Kai still earned Twitch millions of dollars, and that achievement was covered by media. So Twitch needed to reward him well, and they did. They sent him a pair of $100 sneakers and a ban on the platform. Why did they ban one of their biggest creators? Well, they say that he simulated 18 plus things in GTA 5. Let's remember, Twitch 50% revenue comes from the 1% creator. Another creator who is in 1% is XQC. He is actually the biggest streamer for three years in a row, having average views of over 55,000 people. He was banned three times. He got a deal from another streaming platform worth $100 million to stream there for two years non-exclusive, which means he can stream on other platforms. That platform's traffic increased 50x after the announcement. Platform name is Kick. Kick is one of the new platforms that is taking the cake. Kick is a copy of Twitch. Difference is, let's say Kick has not so harsh rules. Gambling is allowed, they let you stream on other platforms, New Twitch rule says that you can't stream on other platforms if you have a contract with them. Kick treats the streamers nicely by giving them 95 5 revenue split. Kick has also a hourly rate of $16, so that small streamers don't rely on donations and subscriptions. Amazing platform, right? They paid 100 million for XQC, millions for Aiden Ross, 30 million for Amorat and they plan to add more streamers to the platform for millions. After all, they took a lot of market share from Twitch and a lot of their streamers. They managed to get over 10 million registered accounts and over 100 million page views in last three months. Unlike Kick, the next platform could destroy Twitch easily. YouTube has the thing 
Twitch needs. YouTube has a defined audience and perfect ad platform. 70-30 revenue split and no declining after you make over $100,000. Problem with YouTube is the chat and discovery of new streamers. Now, Google can easily fix these issues. They have the people and the money. So why don't they do it? Everything points that Google doesn't see live streaming as profitable. As they analyzed in the video, the streaming business is really expensive. So technology would need to improve drastically to make it cheaper. But the improvement in technology is the only thing Twitch needs, right? No, of course not. They need to make better decisions. Lately, they put this new advertisement rule that will make creators make much less money. After harsh criticism, they said that they wouldn't do it, but they did it anyway, secretly. They put the rule in terms of service. They allowed only 3% of a banner display. This is how that looks on a stream. No company is going to pay good money for that. They also forbid audio ads. I saw some ideas that Twitch could charge their viewers covered expenses, but I personally think that would be the nail in the coffin for them. Look, Amazon won't give up easily on Twitch. They paid huge amounts of money. Maybe they can fix the advertisement problem by combining Twitch accounts to Amazon accounts so that Twitch can see what the person bought on Amazon and what is its interest in buying. With that way, they can define their audience. Twitch is still huge internationally. It's a go-to platform for esports, tournament, and music. But because of new rules, a lot of them will leave because they rely on sponsors. Maybe Twitch will end like Mixer, Microsoft's failed live streaming platform. Well, we will see that really soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more business content.